With an expected worldwide shortage of pilots, AirAsia doesn't discriminate in where it sources its talent while hiring locally for its ground staff. Uh, for pilots, actually, we are open. We are open to the world. We have a training center in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, we train our pilot, we have our cadet uh, pilot programs, and we welcome uh, all nationalities joining the program. But aside from pilots, how many does Air Asia employ in Macau? At the moment, we have 25. Yeah, in total, including operations, uh, marketing, uh, business development, and also uh, sales, PRs, is all, all, yeah, different kind of fields, yeah. We are hiring new one as well. We are actually uh, in, in the plan to have more staff joining the team as well. And where better to look than right at home? Asia's uh, uh, operating model, uh, you can go to each station, overseas stations. We use local people. Even myself is a local Macau niece. So we, uh, we actually trust the locals are the best talents. To, to They know the market better than our headquarters. The headquarters will give knowledge, right? will support. But the locals is the one to drive uh, the locals to develop uh, the local markets. With the group CEO Tony Fernandez stating the key to success is controlling costs. The group keeps costs and fares low while still providing an attractive service. How? Uh, we are now uh, working toward the digitalization airlines. Uh, we will introduce a lot of like I. Uh, digitalizing things to reduce the number of staff as well and to make sure that everybody is like uh, contained in the in the certain numbers instead of expand very fast or the, 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 the staff per aircraft uh, nowadays is is below 100 so that's a very good number and very cost efficient as well so we try to keep that in that range a digitization plan also embraced by the local airport Macau International Airport also have the, uh, the, the aim to make it as a virtual airport. This is very good vision actually and is uh, in line with Asia's uh, global development as well. And uh, we are also talking to them, see whether they can also uh, become more digitalized, more automation. And I believe that is also uh, helping Macau International Airport because the space is quite limited. If they have more automations, uh, like the self-checking kiosks, right? The space is less, so they can put in more. The passengers can easily check in and the queue will be shorter and they improve the passenger service as well. More passengers are willing to use the airport. Plans are for the self-service check-in kiosks to be ready in early 2018, says the CEO, depending on cabling and software. <laughs>